Okay, there is a phrase that anything can happen. That is definitely proving to be the case this morning because we have left the studio. We are at the Chattanooga Zoo visiting with the one and only Darty Long. Okay. Uh, We're having the treat of a lifetime in a way because we are inside the Red Panda exhibit. Ooh, I'm going right up and over we're it. <laughs> When we came in this morning, we're here because the zoo is gearing up for this Asian Lantern Festival uh, the month of November and it runs through into mid January. January. And the red pandas, of course, are an Asian animal, so we thought they would be a good exhibit Absolutely. for us to come and be a part of. And we had Willow here on this yes, table. Yes, she was. Willow was right here. I and have my um, grapes in yeah, my yeah, hand. and your little cra craisins, craisins, craisins. To entice yeah. her, and she has a, had a different plan in mind. <laughs> so they're roaming around. But talk about this Asian Lantern Festival. It's the first it's the first time we've ever gone. had them here, yes, and we're so excited. It's been a very popular exhibit with zoos across the country. And what this does is kind of replace our holiday lights, which is so staff intensive. They actually put up all of the lanterns for us. They are spectacular to see. 38 of them you have. Oh, and they're so magnificent. And at night, they're just the lighting. It's, it's beautiful. It's, and it, the zoo won't even look like the zoo. They are not purchased on Amazon. They are actually <laughs> made. Uh, by individual artists yes. and there was a lady who came from China mm -hmm. to even help you know how to display them throughout the park, right? Throughout yes. the zoo. We've met with them several times. Tianyu is the name of the company and we have a representative that we've been working with who's actually based here in the States, but she brings an entire crew over for just the purpose of establishing the lantern. So I, fascinating. I fascinating. love the story that you were actually in Kansas, you said, <laughs> right? And you saw this and thought, oh, I wish we could have that in Chattanooga, but I bet we can. And I Happened. It did really happen. Our partners at SSA, Service Systems Associates, that have been managing our front for a long time had some experience with it, so I felt a little more confident since they had done this sort of thing. And we we're just thrilled to death. Can't wait for it to start. They'll actually start you know, assembling some of them even while Boo and the Zoo is finishing up. So we've got a lot going on, but it's always separate. Let's talk about the red panda. So there are two. There's yes. Willow and Avi. Is Avi still up above us? So they yeah, are just hanging Avi out. Went down. <laughs> when, when we stepped in, the woman who handles them, the worker, her name is Amanda, and they call her Panda Amanda. Panda Amanda because we have another Amanda, so we have to differentiate. Did they all go back inside? Avi's inside. Willow's above you. As, okay. we, as we walked in, they were saying, be careful because Willow is really afraid of people, and she's she probably going to shy away. We'll whisk her away, and y'all can talk with Avi and feed him. So the anything can happen that yes, I said yes. happened. Willow really liked us. Avi couldn't care less. I know. He's, he's he hanging out up there. there. Uh, and, there and there she, oh, there. If you could just see, I don't know if we can get a shot, but we'll there's a foot him. dangling right there. Um, she could care less that we're underneath her. And so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Again, working with animals, they don't always work on cue. I think the important thing to Julie, you know, I was telling you on the way in, we really respect what our keepers want us to do. For instance, we talked about masks. We're not wearing a mask today because we're outside. Our pandas are vaccinated. Our staff is vaccinated. You're vaccinated, mm -hmm. but these guys were really, for some reason, so susceptible to COVID. And they are an endangered species. Very endangered. So you want very much to protect them. That's right. I but wish that they were still right here so that I could comment on how beautiful they are while they're in front of me. But let me tell you what I remember, and you can see our footage. Their tails are so fluffy. They really are. And they have furry feet so that they can walk on snow if they need to. This is an amazing animal. And I always learn something when I come and do an encounter with a VIP. But one of the things I learned was that they actually have a very slow metabolism. They eat a lot of bamboo, so that doesn't really have a lot of energy. So they move kind of slow. They're fascinating creatures. Well, I think they've been moving pretty quickly, yeah. <laughs> actually. These little... Um, uh, walkways that they have, the bridges that they have kind of give with them as they walk so you can tell they get some exercise a little bit with they that do. too. Their faces are really sweet. When Amanda was giving us these craisins to feed and she was trying to entice Willow mm -hmm. to follow her, mm -hmm. it was just like your dog would. Oh, yeah. and, I mean, they are completely adaptable. Well, and that comes from a lot of training. That's one of the things, gaining your animal's trust when you're an animal caregiver here, getting that animal to understand what you want means that they can easily move these animals from one place to the other most of the time um, but for vet visits for instance our animals are all becoming injection trained which means no more darts we can just nice. have them lean in and have a little injection and it's just been working beautifully but you know for, pe for people who may have come to the zoo over the course of the summer and that type of thing uh, they are a little bit weather sensitive so they They're, like it when it's just right not too right. hot not too cold cold is okay but inside uh, the area that we have for them is air-conditioned and you can actually view 
view them from the top level here. You can see them inside. They like to be up, as you can tell, so that's something they do. But yeah, they're really pretty prone to stay inside when it's hot. So I know that we are, um, with the lanterns yeah. going on through January 15th, obviously you want it to be dark to really right. take them the splendor of those. But we get beautiful days the months of November and December into January. Here we are uh -huh. uh, with the Thanksgiving holiday. Yes. Um, it's a great way to keep the kids excited and oh, having yeah. a good thing to do. Good fun thing to go do. It is, you know, it'll be so different. And the you know, interesting thing is it'll be mostly about the lanterns. You, there'll be some animals probably out, but because it's so dark and that's what we want it to be so that the lanterns can be appreciated. And, you know, we're really excited. One of the things we did with this exhibit was try to make it more of a cultural experience. In other words, to honor where these animals are from. So they can come from Myanmar, Nepal, China. They're Asian animals. So Asian Lantern Festival allows us to bring in, you know, something that's a bit of the culture there. And you can see in some of the decor that we used around here, they're actually prayer wheels that you can spin mm -hmm. and some very cool pieces that we built in long ago but this is the ultimate really cultural experience for people to understand that part of the world. If you're a Zoo member already yes. you can just come in and enjoy. If you're looking for a Christmas gift to give, give a Zoo membership. It's the perfect thing. That's right but now if you're a member you will get a discount but you do have to pay for Asian Lanterns. That's what I That's wanted right. to ask you. Now during the day them? you'll be able to see them but they won't be the lighting won't be as good but this is a 6 to 10 p.m. experience so okay. we're really hoping for that nighttime. And there is a member cost, kind of like Boo in the Zoo and some of sure. our other things. But it's the first time it's been to Chattanooga. It was Darty's dream to get it here. <laughs> so we're so glad your dream came true. Oh, thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm going to hope that my dream comes true. I'm going to keep my craisins in my hand. I, I think you're, if you're patient, you might, you and might get lucky. And comes yeah. back. She'll probably more. come down as soon as we stop filming. So you, you know? <laughs> that's what she'll do. So come and enjoy the zoo any time of day, but make it a point between now and the 15th of January to not miss the Asian Lantern Festival. Festival. We promise you will be wowed and amazed by its absolutely, beauty. Absolutely. And thank you to your whole staff for welcoming us absolutely, in. Absolutely, of course. Shop huge Black Friday savings this Wednesday only at Ashley Home Store. From 10 a.m. to midnight, save 30% off with no minimum purchase. That's 30% off store-wide. Wednesday only, 10 a.m. to midnight at Ashley Home Store. The technology and hearing aids now offer great features in addition to better hearing. Oh, it's night and day. I think the feature I like about